Have you noticed your trailer tilting to one side? Notice the tilt, the, the twist in the deck? Well, I'm going to show you what causes that and how to fix that. Only on the members only platform. Okay guys, I'm going to show you real quick when you have a trailer that has a deck that's not leveling properly, how you can fix that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in over there. And you can see I've got one hole and then I've got the pin stuck through it. On this side, bring this down where it's actually... Okay, this pin is touching, okay? And you can still see an entire an entire hole between the pin and the base plate. That deck, the top deck, is tilted this direction. That side is higher. Now watch, <clears throat> I can lower that side down, okay? Well, here's the problem. I'm gonna try to get this set up where you can watch. That side over there is gonna start raising Well, that's not gonna work. Sorry, I really need three hands for this, but I think I can get it. Okay, here we go. This side is not raising while that side is. See that side over there coming up? Now this side started coming up, okay? <clears throat> Some people think that's a mechanical problem with the hydraulics, it's not. It simply needs to be calibrated. And the way that you do that, okay, watch them coming back down. This side touched, now that side came down. Okay, it's really, really simple how you calibrate that. See if I can get down in here between the bush and the trailer. You push the button here. Now let me back this thing up. There we go. Okay, this is your hydraulic button. Push that. Pull down and hold for about 10 seconds, even though it's all the way settled down. Now, when you go to raise back up, both sides raise evenly. That's all there is to it. Another simple tip to save you a lot of money going to a hydraulic repair shop when there's actually nothing wrong with your trailer. Now, <clears throat> there is, if you're running a Cottrell trailer, down here in front of the suspension, in front of this aluminum plate, sorry, behind the aluminum plate, there is what's called a metering valve. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like because there's one up here on the front hydraulics as well. It's this block right here. That is a flow control valve that keeps your flow running evenly to both sides of the trailer at the same time. So if you have one that stops functioning, then you may have problems like I do at the moment where in this case, because I'm parked on a slope, the uphill side is going to lift first. The downhill side will lower first when I start lowering. So yeah, you saw it was really close because I don't have much of a tilt. There you can see the one side had settled and stopped and the other side still had to come down some. That's because my flow control valve back here by the suspension is non-functional. And they're only like 200 bucks. They're super easy to replace. So there's another tip for you. 